if love arises in the heart and you continue to spread that love then know for sure that love will return to you being a hundredfold increased again if hate anger and revenge arise in your heart and you apply them to others it is also certain that they will increase a hundredfold and come back to you to burn yourself to death in the fire of hatred anger and revenge you have to suffer the karma of every action karma will not leave you today or tomorrow or after 10 or 20 years you will have to suffer to understand more simply listen to the two short stories once upon a time a farmer worked hard throughout the year and built a beautiful apple orchard the first bountiful fruits came into the garden and the farmer and his family were all very happy in the morning the farmer picked a basket of apples from the orchard and took the basket to the old hermit of the nearby ashram he thought that if the first fruit was offered to the saint gurus the rest of the time would be auspicious on reaching the ashram he saw the old monk sitting under a tree in meditation he waited After some time when the old monk opened his eyes the farmer put the basket of apples in front of him and bowed and said Gurudev please accept the first fruits of my garden i will be blessed with gurudev's blessings the farmer returned home The old monk was happy to see the apples. He thought such beautiful apples are very rare. I would rather give this basket of apples to the young monks of the ashram. They will be very happy. Thinking this, he called one of the young monks of the ashram and said, "All of you take these apples." As Gurudev had said the young monk took the basket of apples to the ashram where all the young monks were sitting meditating seeing the shiny and beautiful apples the young monks thought hey we are young people we don't need to eat so much nutrition But the two old monks of this ashram who work hard all day long cook for everyone let's give them this basket of apples as they thought they gifted the basket of apples to the two old monks the two old monks were surprised to see such beautiful apples and the two discussed till today we have never been able to give any gift to gurudev buddha himself has sent this basket of apples let us offer this basket of apples to gurudev who is the head of the ashram They both prostrated before Gurudev and placed the basket of apples in front of him and said, "O oh Gurudev, please accept our offering." Gurudev looked at the apples for a long time 
and said, These beautiful red apples are very near to us. These apples will not be of much use to me. Rather than that, the farmer of this village, who works hard all day to grow the crops, will be very happy if you send him this basket. Besides, I heard that his wife is pregnant. She needs real nutrition now. Gurudev ordered a young monk, Go, give this basket of apples to that farmer. The next morning, the young monk appeared at the farmer's door. This farmer was the same farmer who had brought the basket of apples to the ashram the previous morning. The young monk called the farmer and said, The head guru of the ashram has sent this gift for you and your wife. Thank you. The happiness of the farmer and his wife brought tears to their eyes. He said to himself, O oh Buddha, how kind you are! Everything is your grace. Now follows the second story. Once upon a time, a king was spending days in a financial crisis, unable to understand exactly where he was going wrong. For whatever reason, he was very angry. One day, when the minister came and gave some good advice to the king, the king got angry and slapped the minister. The king's behavior made the minister very angry. He went home without showing any anger. When he returned home. His wife politely called him for lunch. But the minister slapped his wife for no reason. This time, the wife was very angry. She went and slapped her innocent daughter. The daughter did not understand anything. She also got very angry, unable to bear the anger. She went to her younger brother and slapped him twice on both cheeks. The baby boy was surprised. He also got angry. But who else would he beat? On whom would he show his anger? So he was expressing his anger by throwing the stones lying before him toward the sky. The stone fell on the head of a dog who was lying down. Now the dog got angry, ran and beat the leg of a person sitting in the flower garden and took the flesh out of the leg. The man started screaming in pain. The man who was beaten by the dog was none other than the king. Resting in the flower garden, he didn't understand where the dog came from and why it beat him and took the flesh off his leg. Dear friends, Karma is a thing that goes round and round and returns to itself. If you think well, if you do good deeds, you will get good results. And if you think badly, even if you do bad deeds secretly, you will get that karma. So, from now on, take every decision on the path of life with great care and devotion. Let none get hurt by any of your actions or suffer by any means. If not, be prepared 
for more serious damage. Live a charitable life. Wish everyone well and let everyone be impressed with your behavior. Accordingly, you will also get everything good from everyone in return. Because there is karma, everything in this world is going on in an orderly manner. Let honest thoughts, honest actions be the main principle of your life. Good luck to all. Thank you.